we now undertake the study of indian agriculture we will study three aspects features problems and policies features mein hum padhenge characteristics visheshtaen problems mein what are the problems the sector is facing and what are the policies government has adopted from time to time to meet these problems let us first talk about features you know that agriculture is a primary sector what out what is primary sector we have already learned but let me repeat all occupations engaged in exploiting natural resources working on land water below the land and all that these are called primary sector occupations jo nature se related hai जो नेचर से पैदा करते हैं आई डोंट नो वेदर यू आर अवेयर ऑफ दिस नियरली सिक्सटी परसेंट ऑफ इंडियन पॉपुलेशन इज स्टिल डिपेंडेंट ऑन एग्रीकल्चर एज एन ऑक्यूपेशन लगभग सिक्सटी परसेंट मोर देन हाफ of indian population is still engaged in agriculture itna bada sector hai hamare desh ka hum is we also associated it with villages all those who live in villages although they may be doing some that non agricultural works also but we normally associate them with agriculture so remember we are going to study the problems of nearly two third of our people in the country let us first take its features one feature is as we have already pointed out biggest source of employment biggest source of employment <clears throat> we have just said that 60% of the population is dependent on agriculture and there is an estimate that nearly half the workforce what is workforce people eligible for working for employment people eligible for employment workforce lagbhag uska aadha 50% is in agriculture so it is a big sector then its contribution to national income not a big contribution we have three sectors primary secondary and tertiary the lowest contribution comes from agriculture it was greater 60 years back in 1950-51 it was 50% but in 2010 11 that is after it is only it is only 16% 
of total national income. Now imagine the problem of this sector. Half the workforce, 60% of the population getting only 16% of the income. Remaining 84% is earned by the remaining half of the force, which is in secondary and tertiary sector. Now note that this is also an indication of inequality between these three sectors. Anyway, our main topic is not on inequality. Our topic is what is their uh, contribution. Then they have a significant contribution to exports. I hope you understand what are exports. The goods and services we sell to the other countries. According to an estimate, two thousand twelve thirteen, nearly, let us say, fourteen percent of the exports were from the agricultural sector. The actual figure is 13.6, but I have rounded it up to 14%. Roughly 14% of the total exports in the year 12-13. What do we export? I'll name some a few items. For example, rice, raw cotton. These are the major items. Then there are other minor items also. This is the direct contribution. 14% is the direct contribution of agriculture. Then there is an indirect contribution. Now what is that? The products manufactured from agricultural products. Raw cotton is a direct contribution. Raw cotton converted into cloths, into ready-made cloths. It is an indirect contribution. So all those manufacturing for which raw material comes from the agricultural sector. There are a large number of examples. I'll give you some of the examples. When they are exported to other countries, Naturally, agricultural sector has an indirect contribution to that exports. For example, textiles, kapde, suti kapde, cotton yarns, coir, coir yarn, and so many things which are made out of the agricultural products. So indirect contribution is about 10%. So remember, this is direct and this is indirect. This is about 10% of the total exports. So there is a major contribution to uh, exports. Then there is another contribution. It is a major source of raw material. for the manufacturing sector.
manufacturing sector what is what, what is manufacturing sector the sector which transforms raw materials into manufactured products which transforms one physical good into another physical good that is manufacturing sector like textiles kapde banane wale karkhane cotton textiles sugar sugar cane comes from agricultural sector sugar comes from manufacturing sector tea tea comes from tea gardens agricultural sector but it is processed in factories similarly coffee vanaspati etc so what does it reveal that our manufacturing sector hamare karkhane they are dependent to a great extent on agriculture काफी हद तक वो एग्रीकल्चर पर डिपेंडेंट है अगर आप न्यूज ध्यान से सुनते हैं न्यूज में कई बार कहा जाता है कि मैन्युफैक्चरिंग सेक्टर का परफॉर्मेंस अच्छा नहीं है क्योंकि मॉनसून खराब हो गया मॉनसून कम आया अब आप कहेंगे साहब मॉनसून का और मैन्युफैक्चरिंग सेक्टर का क्या ताल्लुक है a bad monsoon means bad agricultural crop and a bad agricultural crop means lower availability of raw material for many of the manufacturing industries so if monsoon fails agricultural sector fails manufacturing sector also fails accordingly so in a way our entire economy is governed by the performance of the agricultural sector directly or indirectly so it is a major source of raw material then this is the supply side it is also a major source of demand for manufactured products major source of demand for manufactured products aap kahenge sahab kaise ek to direct demand ho gayi tractor kahan banta hai manufacturing sector mein kahan bikta hai rural sector mein thresher so many other agricultural implements water pumps electricity so many things which are produced in the manufacturing sector and they are demanded to a great extent by the agricultural sector so if agricultural sector fails they will demand less and when they will demand less manufacturing sector will also be adversely affected if agricultural sector rises there is a demand for manufactured products rises they also buy clothes they also build houses they also buy motorcycle they also buy cars they also buy televisions they also buy radios so many things agricultural sector buys but if their income is low if national income of the agricultural sector is low falls this also has an adverse impact on the national income originating from the 
manufacturing sector. So that is another major feature of, so we have noted down certain features of the agricultural sector. Now we come to problems problems of the agricultural sector <clears throat> 